How are you, Ish? Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you for having me. I'm, do, I'm doing really well. Well, I'm going to put it on the line here now. This is what I think of you. And it's a pretty strong statement I'm making, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you are probably the most, are going to be the most impactful player on the team this year. And, and that's a strong statement because we, you got the twins out there and uh, Jerry right. Shepard. So what do you think about that? Do uh, you think you could, I'm giving you like a, a really tough task. Do you, you think you could fill those shoes? I'm, I'm, I'm throwing at you just a, you're the glue guy. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Um, no, no, definitely, you know, getting out here in the summertime, um, you know, and ha having eight weeks in the summer, getting to work out with the guys, getting to know, you know, my teammates, um, I def def definitely can see, um, you know, the holes that, 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 I, that I can fill and the things that, that I can come in and, and, and help, help, help do for the team. You no, know, I definitely, I definitely see myself as one of those guys for sure, just because, I mean, I know how to win. And I know what it takes to win, you know, I'm, and I, I'm going to be looking, you know, for, for, for my teammates to, to, to fulfill those roles that, that, that we need to do to win every night, you know, and as well as well as to produce myself. You know, I, I know that, um, that, 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 we're, that we're losing, you know, a lot of scoring and with Fats losing, you know, that, that, that's a lot of points every night, you know, that we're losing. So, you know, I know there's, there's going to be a need for that, but I know there's also going to be a need for, for, for other things, you know, keep, keep keeping guys level headed, making the right basketball play, as you said. Um, you know, or, or, or even having to go go get that that tough bucket when, you know, when we're in a scoring draw, though, you know, it's late in the game and we need a bucket to, to, to keep the momentum flowing in our way. So, you know, I think um, I'm thinking I'm able to do to do all those things that you said. But, you know, I think I'm going to you know also do it with a little more flair, with a, with a lot more um, excitement. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a team guy. I'm a team first guy for sure. So, you know, just just the. Um, the aura of just having you know, my, my teammates to see it is just going to help me continue to, to, to be a, the, better, the best player that I can be. So I'm looking forward to it. I, I neglected to mention a few other things. You know, sometimes we got a little bit spoiled here with the two NCAAs, two first round wins. When the ball's on the ground, we just expected a Rhode Island player to be the first to dive in for the 50 50s. And I was watching you against Michigan. You're playing against a team as good as any, and mm -hmm. you had a lot of strips and dives, and I just think that you're going to fit in to uh, the Rhode Island tough basketball, playing, you know, hard every possession type of, with right. an edge. What do you think about that? No, no doubt. You know, that's, that's definitely something, you know, Coach Cox and, and, you know, Coach Carroll had when they were recruiting me. Um, Why don't we go to uh, the slideshow? I have a, a bunch of surprises for you today. I'm pretty sure you can enjoy. Let's okay. let's meet Ish El Amin. You're Ish too. What are we gonna do with this? We have two Ishes. Have you spoken um, to the other Ish? How are we gonna? Yeah. Who's who? Um, well, my uh, I think uh, he's he's Ish for sure, and I've I've uh, come to embrace the uh, the nickname E A. E A. Okay. Wow. E I, I like to break stories, so this is breaking news right here. So we're going to be calling you EA from now on, like like the sports game. Yep, like the sports play. game. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this is new. I, this is going to be tweeted out, if you don't mind. I want people to know they, they uh, no fans are no. hungry. I, yes, I want to uh, I, – I need everybody to know. So, like, I was telling you earlier about – how important you are to this team. And uh, I'm just, it's more of a reiteration and Phil to jump in, but you're okay. going to keep the, we're a 10 turnover team when we're doing well, uh, a game. Right. And I think you're going to keep the turnovers down. You're going to set the, the stage, the rhythm, a, as you will. You're going to solidify the foul shooting. You're going to stop if there is a scoring drought. Every team has, it, especially when you take as many threes as all these teams do. Well, um, you're going to keep the composure, make that extra pass, uh, score points off of turnovers. And, and the way you play, you play the right way, is going to rub off on the other players. How right. does that sound? You think I hit on some of those or all of those? No, yeah, you definitely, I, I think, I, I think you hit on all of them. There's definitely, all those things are definitely um, things that I, I have proven to, to be able to do in my, you know, in my four years at Ball State. And, you know, that's definitely something that I can, and I'm looking to continue to do and do it at a, at a higher level now, now that I'm here. Well, I see that you had um, been recruited by Austin Carroll. That's nice to see. He's 
he's still uh, maybe his third year now, and he's starting to get into the uh, recruiting game. So yeah, you seem to really hit it off with him. Besides, obviously, Coach Cop and the rest of the team. Yeah, yep. He um he 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 was the first coach that reached out to me, and he actually um he has a relationship with uh with one of my former assistants that was at Ball State my freshman year, um Danny Peters. Um, so we um you know the, 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 they have that relationship. So and then and we were I mean I'm you know I'm glad we were I was able to uh you know connect with AC and you know and then and, and and have him have him recruit me you know just the the family tree of, you know, coming from Ball State and, you know, having one of the assistants there that recruited me and he are the first assistant that recruited me there. You know, uh, we still have me, or Danny Peters, we still have a great relationship. Um, we talk here and there. Um, check up check up on him. He checks up on me. So I'm just, you know, I'm glad I've been able to be around great people that that, that look out for me and, you know, that, that are, um, you know, trying to try, try have my best interests ahead. Still think we're still getting to know you. Uh, you can do just about everything. You play uh, defense, excellent mm-hmm. perimeter game. You know we talked about your foul shooting. Uh, your junior year, you shot thirty nine percent from the three point line. That's that's almost forty percent. That's that's pretty <laughs> impressive. There, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. you're the son of uh, one of the great UConn players. That's saying a lot. And mm-hmm. uh, your second team all MAC. Uh, yeah, you should have been first team. I don't know, but uh, second team is pretty good, and it's a, it's a good conference, isn't it? No, yeah, the the, the MAC has um or last year the MAC was um was definitely a, a great guard heavy um class. My senior class, the senior class was definitely a great class. It, it definitely was guard heavy. Um, you know, I I I I have my thoughts, but I think that um you know. One of the main reasons, you know, I didn't make first team just because we didn't go so deep in our tournament and our uh, conference tournament. Um, but I mean, you know, that's 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 not that's not here or there. You know, I'm, I'm grateful with, um, you know, with with what has what has happened and what what has been displayed. Um, you know, you know my my game, and I think I've um, I think I developed, and I think I gave you know the Mac all, all they can handle um, my, all my four years there. So you know, I'm I'm, I'm glad with my career. Further along, you know, getting to know you, 35% from three all time. You know, we need those threes. We, we've lost a couple of three-point shooters uh, besides bats, and uh, you, you're going to be very important in that area. Um, we'll go over some of the other statistics, 16 points a game. You know, sometimes people think, okay, maybe you're just going to be a role player, but you told me earlier you have that flair. Maybe you will be one of the front liners with the statistics here 16 three assists three rebounds a lot of 1.3 steals so i think that you could play a bigger role as well um besides just being that that glue guy that i said before um and these are some of the things i believe you bring to uri look at your dad's statistics mm-hmm. some not cool pictures mm-hmm. well i'm gonna move out of the way with that sports illustrated cover thing um but mm-hmm. you know sophomore year led the Huskies national championship. What was it like playing uh, in the shoes of your dad all these years? Was, was it hard? Was it, were you proud? Was it, did it help you give you an edge? What was it like? Um, I was, I would say at first when I was younger, um, you know, and I, I was just first started getting recruited and, you know, I was just started to get asked questions by the media you know, people wanted to know my name and stuff like that. I I would say it was it was definitely hard then because um you know he was st- at that at that time he was still playing so his name was still prominent overseas um and so you know I, I definitely def- I don't I wouldn't say I had shoes to fill but I definitely had well felt that little weight on my shoulder but I also always also was always um everybody always wanted to to categorize me like categorize my game as his or try to put us in the same realm as um you know just said being the same player and that was something that was something that I um are you are you all are you going to try to be like your dad are you trying to look to do what your dad did and that was definitely something that um that rubbed me the wrong way just because our games are nothing nothing are like we have nothing about um me is similar to to him like 
I'm six one. My dad is five nine. So like that alone already, like I already saw so my height difference. Um, I shoot better than my dad. Um, oh, my dad can. We heard can't, here. Can't, my dad. What are, what's gonna happen there? Your dad's gonna hear that. <laughs> my um, you know, my, my dad, my dad, my dad wasn't wasn't a high flyer, or, you know, a, a very um, you know, play above the rim type of guy. I definitely um have had. You know, I have have the athletic more. I've, I felt like I was a way better athlete than he is, or he was um, when he, you know, back when he was playing. So you know, that 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 part was um, the the un the the un that's the undenying part that I didn't like um, growing up. But now, um, you know, being twenty two and been through four years of college, I've I've learned to just to embrace it. And to and to you know not 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 let it consume me anyway, but you know just just embrace it because I mean like 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 your slide says he he has done a lot in this game and you know his his name is prominent it's not going nowhere so um, you know just being able to 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 know and to meet all the people to former players that he's played against or the coaches that he has coached against. Um, like Coach Bose, Coach Bozeman, he recruited my dad, like when he was at California. So like just hearing little, little, little things about that, like you didn't like I would have never knew that until I like until, you know, of course, until I met Coach Bose. And so just having hearing those things um, whenever they come about um, at different different stages is, is, is always cool for me. So, you know, like I said, I just learned to embrace it. Then I, I definitely um, it was. It was hard until about, you know, my senior year. Cause like I said, he was, my dad played, was playing or played basketball until I was a senior in high school. So my, my senior year of high school was his first full year of actually like seeing me play like a full season. Um, so I, it, it definitely was a lot different because a lot of more, a lot of, um, dad, ex NBA dads or pro dads, like, you know, they have, they had the time to, you know, coach their son up, you know, through grade school, maybe through high school. Um, um, you know, I've, unfortunately, my dad was still playing. So I didn't have that. I didn't have that, 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 um, what's the word? I get that, that luck or that, you know, that, that gym sitting right next to me in the gym every day. Um, so, you know, I, I had to, uh, had to, had to wait it out. Um, but, you know, I think, I think, I think it's just my story because now, you know, he, he it's all said and done now. And, I think him being able to me be me going home and going like I'm going home to work out with him like I don't need to go nowhere and go find a trainer I'm not fine like I don't have to you know go and go out and search anybody like I have a goat right in my living room you know back at home like I just can go home. What's your relationship with Coach Cox? Uh, you know I'm obviously we have a a, a great relationship um I'm because um. I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I'm here, of course, um, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be here if I didn't feel as if, um, you know, he, he saw my best, he, he, he saw my best interest in me or if he knew, you know, what my goals were and what I'm trying to, you know, what I'm trying to pursue in this game, um, uh, wouldn't be here if, if I didn't think, you know, he was able to, you know, to coach me and then to get me better and to get me, help me get to that position. Um, uh, but I, I, from, from, you know, from, from the workouts this summer, um, and, you know, j and just being here and just being around him and the guys, um, you know, he, he, he's, he's a, he's a great coach, a great, great man to be around. He definitely, definitely, um, is definitely bigger than basketball with him. And, and, and that's, and that's big because like, it, it, like the game life is bigger than basketball. And, you know, the ball does stop bouncing at some point. So, you know, being able to, um, go out into the real world, real world, and, and you know, be able to adapt and, and live and survive is um is huge now. So you know, I, I'm, he definitely um he gives us he gives us those tools of of, of life skills. Well, uh, let's have a little fun here. I have some videotape that I'd like to share with you. On the drive, off glass for El Amin. We understand Dad actually played. Did you have that on the scouting report? Hunter, Hunter Dickinson's three point game is. A uh, bucket and a foul goes for Ish's kid. The bookend fools, but they were tough. 
El Amin sneaks his way inside, wraps a pass around to Hazen, and that's an inside bucket. You're not fading on a, on a difficult shot from three. If you're in the mid-range and you're comfortable, you have the size that Livers does, you can get to do that all day. And so you got a guy who's got 19 years' experience, and he covered in one dribble there. El Amin inside, pretty move. Just tremendous highlights there. I realize mm -hmm. they're highlights, um, but um, you, you're a very polished player and you can do so many things that uh, you're going to be a huge surprise for the fans at um, the Ryan Center this year. Here's another person in your life. It's grainy. It's a Hamilton. long time ago. And Jones will pull it out. Amin, the trailer, beats his man with a dribble and hits the little jump shot. Tell Amin the loose ball. Khalid circles the wagons. Nobody picks him up, but he buries the three. Kicks it back. Hartnett with a little time. Back outside. El Amin hits another three. In the first 16 minutes of this game. El Amin, the 360 spin up and under with the left hand. Oh, oh, kind of a tough question. Can you play the point? No, uh, for, for sure. Um, you know, I played... I played the point at Ball State, um, you know, my freshman year. I got moved off the ball my sophomore and junior year um, just for the betterment, for the betterment of, my, of the team. Um, we were a better team with me, at the, with me off the ball and um, just were more yeah. dangerous with me off the ball. And then my senior year, <clears throat> excuse me, my senior year, um, I play, I've had to play, I played point guard the whole year just because um, the beginning of the year, our, our point guard, um, he 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 broke his foot, so you know I I, I had I had to play the point. Um, and I I, I had no problems. I'm comfortable. I guess like I said, I've been I've been around for so for a long time, so I'm at the point now where I'm comfortable doing anything. Um, I don't shy away from from any role or or anything. If coach need me to go guard five men, seven feet tall, I'm a, you know I'm gonna go front to post. You feel me? I'm gonna go do what I have to do. I'm gonna, the ball, I'm gonna make sure the ball doesn't get in there. Um, cause I know what cause I know that's what we're gonna have to do to win. And so, but yes, if I, if, 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 if right now, actually, I'm, I think that uh, my role is playing the point um, with, with, with Jeremy. Um, I think uh, me and him are going to be going on and off and hand in hand, whoever has it at the time. Your best shooting was your junior year behind the stripe, uh, yeah. behind the arc, 39%. In senior year, you dipped a little to 31%. Is yeah. it possible because you're playing the point that it, Took a little bit away from there. Um, yeah, nine, they're both good numbers. No, I mean, I def my junior definitely my junior year um, shots that I were getting my junior year were a lot more cleaner looks, a lot more catch and shoot, a lot more. Um, didn't have I didn't have to do a whole um, didn't have to do a whole lot. You know, the ball uh, the ball was given to me, and all I had to do was you know put just you know shoot my shot and and then you know and make the shot um and you know and so definitely going into my senior year you know having the ball in my hands a lot more playing the point a lot of my a lot of my threes beginning of the year were coming off the dribble and uh you know and it, a lot of them were some of them were a lot of them tough um some of them you know last second putting the ball on my hands you know you got you got you shot clock winding down you got to get a shot up you don't want to turn over so there, 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 there's some of those in there but no, I'm big no excuses. I, I didn't. I shot the ball okay my senior year. I think I could have shot. I think I shot it um, a lot better towards the end of the year. Um, Why did you choose URI over the others? And, and was it even close when the time came for you to turn? Um, so when it so when it came down to it, um, it was URI in Minnesota. Um, that's when 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 it came down to it when I was trying to make my decisions. But I chose URI because. Um, won the roster, um, 
I did my research and I looked up the roster and I was just, you know, I, I was mind blown, really, just looking at the roster and seeing all the pieces and just like, um, I saw, I saw what what, what could be, um, you know, with with a player like myself joining joining the roster and, you know, with my with what I bring to the table and knowing knowing what I bring to the table and what I can provide, you know, for for these young guys here and, and you know for the program, I just knew that um, it was a, a great fit for me. Um, as well as you know, I, I had a great I had a great relationship with the coaching staff from them recruiting me. You just said something. Um, I'm not sure the exact word, but you were in awe of this team, and I share that same opinion. Uh, I feel like um, the preseason poll people are missing out a little bit, but if you ask me, of all the teams in the Atlantic Ten with the highest ceiling, it would be Rhode Island with the talent that is coming in and already exists. Yeah, I definitely, I def, I, I def. I definitely think we're overlooked. I definitely don't think, you know, just with the, with, with the year that, that, that URI had last year, you know, I, I think they, you know, the, 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 the critics or whoever does, does, does the rankings, I think they, and with fats leaving, of course, you know, they, they haven't had a post fat, they haven't had a post fats era. Um, so, you know, they, they, you know, they, 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 they may be thinking, you know, they may, they may, there may not be something here, but you know that, that just makes it better for us though. You feel me? That just lets us lets lets us be the underdog, um, and there's, there's nothing wrong with being an underdog. So it just lets us allows us to to focus on ourselves and to and to just get better, man, and, and not have to you know feel like we gotta feel like we have to um, do more than what we need to. You know, but we'll be really quick with there's a, there's some characters on this team, some fun personalities. Uh, no, yeah, definitely starting um, off. I think uh, you know I, I I have definitely um, I had I have hit it off with everybody since since I've gotten here, um, but I think uh, me and the twins have definitely um, have gotten me and the twins have definitely gotten close. Um, you know you 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 got to be best friends with your big man, and you can't 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 leave you can't can't leave those guys um out out to dry. You know you got to have the best relationships with them. Um, so you know I mean me and the twins have real real. Friends firm relationship um me 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 and ish leg legged we um you know we we have a good we you know we work out we work out throughout the week together so you know we have a good relationship um you know and just um you know just being just just working out together every day you know being in the gym with one another learning each other on the basketball floor um so we you know we we, we definitely have embraced that uh me, 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 and Shepard have uh, me and Shepard have hit it off, but just you know, just being the oldest two, oldest two guys, man, having the most experience out of everybody on this team, um, having a different outlook, um, you know, for for these young guys out on the team, you know, so just, you know, we, me and him have embraced that, you know, that we're gonna be the leaders of this year, man, on the floor, that uh, a lot of it's gonna be on our shoulders, um, but you know, we we knew that, you know, going in. I knew I knew that when you know when I said I was coming, I knew that I that's that was something that I was um looking forward and looking looking to do is you know be, be, being able to to lead the, lead these young guys and help them you know when when the time comes and I you know the season's over and, and I'm gone you know be help just making just knowing that they have uh, all the tools they need to you know for so they can, so they can be successful um in this game um you know so the, and, and that's all it's about. Well, and you had a very special, and you still do have a very special relationship with your mom. You, everyone focuses mm -hmm. on your dad, but I think they're overlooking your mom a little bit. You, she meant a, she yeah. means a lot to you, doesn't she? Yeah, I mean, my mom, my mom is, uh, you know, she was the one that when my dad was overseas, you know, working and putting food on the table, she was the one that was getting me to my workouts, you know, getting me to practice the games. She, uh, my life, you know, she's as she as she should, of course, but. I think for me, she just stands on a, a whole nother, a, another pedestal that people put, you know, the mom, people already put their moms on the pedestal. Yeah. My mom is on a whole nother pedestal oh, wow. that's different. So then the, you know, that's just, that's, you know, then, and, you know, her being, her being one of, being one of my best friends, you know, just being able to talk about everything with her and being, being open, you know, we having that open dialect and having that relationship with her has, you know, has helped me get through, you know, being away from home. 
you know, for so long and, you know, just embracing, embracing my journey. You were number five at Ball State. Now you're 35. Are you cool with that? Someone's occupying your number. Um, Is there a problem? I actually have, I have another, no, yeah. um, no, I have a problem with it, but I have another gym to drop, but I can't say it on camera and I can't really <laughs> say it because I just, I, it's a secret right now. And okay. I'm going to, it's going to, it's going to come out when, um, when it's time, but there is, I, I changed my number. My number is not 35 this year. Um, okay. I'll change it again. Um, so yeah, it's a secret, but yeah, I, I have okay. a new number. It means it, it, it holds a, it, it holds, it holds a different kind of weight for me. It's kind of a new, it's kind of like a new, a new start, but not really at the same time. Well, I like to hear that. I'm tired of having people say, you know, I'm just happy to play in the numbers. Doesn't mean anything mm -hmm. to me. You know, you're being honest. Right. Uh, definitely. I definitely embrace the number five. Definitely hurt to not definitely was hurt when I found out five was, um, See, was not able to be worn. I love it. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I, I, um, when I picked 35, I was, um, I, I didn't have, I didn't have no hard feelings. I mean, it is, it was, just, it was like, damn, like, okay, I can't wear number three. I can't wear five. Damn. Um, so what's <laughs> next? Um, you know, 30, 30, and then 35 was like, it's okay. I mean, I'm still hearing my, I'm still hearing the five at the end, the 30, <laughs> the three, the three is, uh, I you know I don't really run it there, but I hear the five. So I, I, as long as I hear the five, okay. So at, at that time I was, I was feeling, I'm, I was feeling okay with it, but yes, I did change it again. It's a secret. It'll come, I, it'll be out okay. probably a month or two, pro probably within a month or two. Um, but it's, it's, def it's, it's definitely big. Oh, wow. But, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you do have a sense of humor here, and I, I didn't know it from just reading articles, and I, I bet it's appreciated with the other teammates because uh, yeah. this is the real issue. It's, it's more yeah. than just a business. You have it's, a person, um, too. No, yeah. I've, um, you know, my, my, my personality is – I definitely have gotten a lot of compliments on my personality, but – I mean, I'm 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 more, I'm more than I'm I'm more than just a basketball player. This is a okay. quote from someone. I think you might recognize it, and it's a very simple quote. This person said, "I want people to think that I am not in the gym," and I I guess the reason is because uh, he wants to be a surprise and you know have a, an edge. Who said that? Do you, do you recognize that statement? Say it one more time. I want people to think that I wasn't in the gym practicing. I think I, I think I said that. I have uh, your dad saying that, but um, either way, oh, I, I think I said that before too, though. But really, my dad said that. What interview? What uh? What where what, what, what uh, interview was that? Oh, you know, my uh, five hours of research, I can't remember, but um, <laughs> okay. I definitely saw that, and uh, I was For wondering. Sure. My question was, do you feel that way? And uh, obviously you do, because uh, great minds yeah. think alike. So uh, we're going to end it on this. This is a trick question. Uh, okay. PA, have you been in the gym a lot since you've been at Rhode Island? Yes or no? <laughs> I don't think. Um, I don't think I've missed a day. Oh, in the gym. Here's, so you're not I'm following that. Uh, I thought you were going to tell me you're never in the gym. I, I, I couldn't put you to that, though. That wouldn't be good for you. <laughs> well, we learned a lot today, uh, EA. Um, mm -hmm. a lot. Of, I can't wait to know. Maybe you could tell me uh, off the record what your number is going to be, but um, I'm really excited. I, next time I, I meet you, hopefully it'll be in person. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming in today. And I say oh, of course. Hi to everybody and Coach Cox for me. Yep. Um, and you're not just a basketball player. You seem like you uh, no. a great person and that sense of humor. I, I, I pulled out of you there. So I'm, I'm happy. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And I thank, thank you for having me. Thank you for allowing me to, you know, you know, just share with the roadie fans and get, you know, and get, let them see my face. Yes. Well, great. Have a great rest of the day and thank you, you too. We'll be keeping tabs with you. Can't wait till Ryan center opening night. It's going to be raining threes, right? Yes, sir. We'll see you there.